Okay, let's have a look at another company. Uh, this company called Walgreens Boots Alliance, I'm sure Rick knows it, uh, because this company with another company called CVS Health, they provide uh, medicine to 75% of population in the United States. So uh, this specific company also, the story, you know, pandemic crisis, everything goes down. If you notice the stock market collapsed in, during March time, uh, about 37%. Uh, to be honest, I expect that it would go even lower. Now, why ch did we choose uh, this specific company? Do you think that uh, pharmaceutical business will go into liquidation or not during that period of time? Uh, I, I don't have uh, right now, but HFC is higher now, right, in price, definitely. Uh, Ricky, if you can check it, if you have account, can you answer the you, uh, what's the HFC price now? So, uh, Walgreens Boots Alliance, pharmacy, pharmaceutical chain, we looked as well, has about 13,000 company pharmacies in the uh, United States, uh, produce a lot of, a lot of uh, business. They also have insurance business, they have medical clinics business. And I presume during this time, pharmaceutical side of that specific business is going to be improved because people uh, afraid to get sick, they're afraid to get virus and they uh, buy a lot of, uh, uh, like, I mean, pres preservative in this particular case, a lot of medicine, vitamins, etc., etc. Okay, that's how we chose uh, Walgreens Pharmacy. Now, that's how you see, for example, the chart for people who trade it, uh, it would be easier to understand, right? So we assume, usually what I do, Rick, and uh, for uh, whoever, William as well, so heading experience. So at the bottom, that's where I buy shares, okay? I don't buy shares at the top or rent them. No. So always buy them. So here I'm going to use another structure which is selling put options, right? So I am always see when the trend finished, breakthrough and started like a consolidation area, started moving, but I'm not going to into details about technical analysis, but that's how you uh, enter the position. You have to know when you sell options. The best time to sell options here. So you bought it here, you sell the call option here, you get the maximum premium uh, on that particular uh, trade. Now, for example, if we do trade with this specific uh, option, so we can do focus on that growth. We can think, okay, fine, what happens that the share price can go up higher? But at the same time, we can see it's downtrend. So it's trending down. So it can continue go to $42. So it can reduce in price here. So, and uh, it can go to $41, even lower, right? So, but if you decide to trade, so you can choose different option premium. So you can trade, uh, or the higher. So if you believe that the share price is growing, you can use $46 strike price. Or if you believe that share might go down and you don't want to reduce your risk, you can use a $45 strike price or even $44 strike price or even lower. How do you acquire uh, underlying security before using strategy? Just buy it. Um, so analyze it and buy it. So that's what I just explained, Vlad, and you probably a bit uh, was late. Now, uh, so let's have a look at the profitability in this particular case. $45, uh, strike 46, got straight away 96 cents uh, for that premium. Again, I'm using the last price. Uh, it gives us 2.1% for three days, also three days. And uh, our share price reduced to $44.29. If you put $100,000 in this trade, you would receive $2,000, 120 uh, in, uh, in, in three days period. So it gives you 2%, okay? Now, if the share price moves up to $46, you are going to get an additional uh, difference, 75 cents. Total income, uh, $1.71, it gives you 3.7%. Now, when I speak to different people, they say, oh, what's the difference, 3%, 2%, it's not that much. But when you put in a dollar value, so that's why I put a dollar value, because 2,100 and 3,700 is a very different amount of money. You can have in uh, Australia, like practically three weeks rent on that. 
and over a year, that's, that's fantastic. And that's only a small difference, right? So in this particular case, so you have to choose what duration. And uh, during each trade, every trade, I actually evaluate. I evaluate my risk and I evaluate my uh, income. So I have to understand, is it the higher chance that it's going to go down? So I look at the uh, technical uh, indicators, look at technical parameters, not only on that specific company, but also at indexes. So for example, indexes are very high. So I exiting from majority of my positions. And if I am selling covered calls, I'm selling them in the money. So below the current price, because if I want the share price go, I want to collect this premium. Okay, so in this particular case, what happens? We get much higher uh, premium, $2.48. Why? Because uh, the person pays us this 25 difference, cents difference straight away. Okay, and then on the top of that, whatever time premium is, is here as well. And you can see that cash profit, if the share price goes below $45, we get 5.4%. And we reduce our share price to $42. Here it was $44.29, here is $42.77. So we have much lower risk in this particular trade, right? So in case if the WBA continues to go down, okay? I do not understand the indexes. Uh, we explain it during our master classes, Karen, and we, uh, we explain it during our education as well, what the indexes are and how they work as well. So, and of course here, you, you look, if the share price goes down, you make higher cash profit, but if it stays above, you have less profit. So, because you're collecting a premium on the, uh, on the going down, okay? And then here it's fantastic profit, it's $5,000, if you invested uh, $100,000 in 10 days, which is amazing. Put pluses if you'd like to make this money on a, on a monthly basis, right? I understand that uh, some of you won't put $100,000, but you can divide it. If it is $10,000, it means that's $540 return on investment. So it's, it's kind of, try to just reduce zeros or add zeros. I have one student and uh, uh, he's VIP student. And uh, he contacted me and he said, Igor, I want to talk to you. And uh, he showed me his initial investment was uh, half a million dollars. Okay. Then I found out that he was a big business, like property developer in Germany. And uh, he told that he's enough of that business because it's so stressful, uh, takes all his time, all his efforts. And he's already close to 50 years of age. And he said, I want to move out. And uh, he's learning very well. I mean, can you believe his uh, motivation behind that? It's huge. And his initial uh, investment was $500,000. So guys, I don't know how much uh, you invest in. His income uh, after two months was about 100 something uh, thousand dollars. 160, I think, thousand dollars he was showing me. Okay, Walgreens dropped down. That's the way it was. So we looked at here and then it's, look at this, it's dropped down. It's continued that uh, downtrend. Okay, so, and the lowest price it was to $37. Okay, so in this particular case, if you chose the second strategy, you would reduce the risk. And look, uh, this particular case, it's 42.81, right? And uh, our reduction was to uh, 42.77. Correct, so that, that's the way it works. But the question is, what do you do when the, uh, this 10 days expired, nobody bought your shares, you have shares, what can you do again? What's, the, what's your next action going to be? We understand that if shares are taken from us, we got cash, we again buy another share, right, and do something else with this share. But if we already have shares, what do we do? Share just dropped in price. Correct, Rick, we sell call again. That's what we do. When you buy property, can it be the situation if you bought the property and the property dropped down in price? Yes, it can, but it doesn't stop you from renting this property to the tenant, right? So you're collecting this premium month after month after month. So same story absolutely here. So you keep just doing it for months and for months and for months, okay? Now, that's, 
what happens, right? So the share price dropped 4281. So what we do now, whoever has shares, they can buy it again. Whoever doesn't have shares, uh, they can uh, keep the old shares and we can sell the call. The thing is, we can use the another strike price, $43. Our break even is $42.77. So even if they sell at $43, we, we're going to be in profit. Now, when traders just selling and buying shares, they have to have a stop loss. And if the share drops down to percent, they sell it and they fix their loss. So they have loss, real loss. Okay. In our case, instead of selling the shares with the loss, we selling a covered call. Okay. And at least here we kind of already in the first trade we got break on but in the second trade we're going to make money so in this case if we do this specific trade we get 59 cents okay for two days 1.3 percent for two days so 1370 dollars in two days if you put 100,000 dollars okay or 137 dollars if you put in this trade 10 10,000 dollars now if the share price goes up you get 1.8 percent return because you get the difference also, and it would be $1,800 in two days. Now, if the same thing you do for uh, 10 days, 2.6% return, 2,600 in eight days, right? Uh, if the share price stays below $43, and if it's above, you make $3,000. Do you understand, guys? It is very important. So if the share price drops, it's no worries. You just keep keep selling covered calls until the share recovers. And that's why it's very important. You have to pick the correct shares. The question which Vladan asked, how you pick the shares, it's the crucial, right? During the program, education program, I showed a screener with certain parameters, how to choose shares for long trading, like when you're going to uh, uptrend, like I mean, uh, on the growth market and also on the downtrend. So when you expect and use strategies, which is on a falling market, when the market is falling, shares are falling. Okay, how to find those companies. So for example, last night during our club meeting, uh, we were looking for companies like that. Okay, on the, on the sell side. Now, uh, can you please put from zero to 10 how you understood the option, uh, call option strategy, selling call option strategy. Of course, there is much more about this strategy. You have to understand uh, how to pick the stock. You have to understand how to choose the strike price, when, at what specific time, why I sell like two days before, why not four days before, right? So you have to understand technically. So quite a lot of stuff. Uh, very often we sell call option, then we buy it back. So in order to exit the, uh, obligation, but you need to know when to do it, and etc. Et so it's quite a lot of that. Uh, during our program, I spend about two hours to explain this only strategy how it works in the parade. Now, 